बिस्मिल रहीम हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द पी एल थ्री हंड्रेड एग्जाम प्रपरेशन सीरीज वेयर वी आर एक्सप्लोरिंग द थर्ड लर्निंग पैथ विजुअलाइज एंड एनालाइज द डेटा इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कंटिन्यू आर एक्सप्लोरेशन ऑफ द टॉपिक फॉर्मेट एंड कन्फिगर विजुअलाइजेशन विच इज़ पार्ट ऑफ द सेक्शन क्रिएट रिपोर्ट्स सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड अ डिटेल्ड लुक एट द क्लस्टर्ड बार चार्ट एंड वी सॉ ऑल द ऑप्शन रिलेटेड टू द फॉर्मेटिंग एंड बिल्डिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर विजुअल सो इफ आई गो बैक टू द विजुअलाइजेशन ऑप्शन हेयर आई कैन सी दैट दिस इज माई क्लस्टर बार चार्ट सो देर इज अ कंपेनियन ऑफ दिस क्लस्टर्ड बार चार्ट विच इज अ क्लस्टर्ड कॉलम चार्ट सो इफ आई जस्ट गो एंड क्लिक ऑन द क्लस्टर्ड कॉलम चार्ट so you are going to see that the only thing that is different between these two charts is the orientation of your bar so this has the bars in the vertical direction and this is the only change so what is happening it is the just the axes are being swapped so the y axis and x axis are have been swapped and all the other options associated with the formatting are going to be the same so if you want to just uh change the orientation all you need to do is just select the visual and then just change the orientation of your bar chart so now let's go and see what are the other two uh categories of the bar and column chart so now we have the st stacked bar chart and the stacked column chart so now let's have a look at the stacked bar chart so i'm just going to click here on the stacked bar chart symbol and this is going to bring up a visual which i will be building and this is not going to be a simple bar chart but it is going to be a stacked bar chart so here you can see that i have pulled in the same values for the y axis and x axis that i did for the previous video and here i have the sales region in the y axis and the total cost in the x axis and so far the visualization here it looks similar to a simple bar chart or the clustered bar chart that i created but now what i am going to do is that i am going to bring in my other measure which was the uh, which was the total quantity measure so i am now going to bring this total quantity measure and put it here in the x axis and now you are going to see something which is different and now you can see that in the legend i have total cost and total quantity but instead of having separate bars the same bar has been split into two areas this area represents total cost and this area represents the total quantity so we have a stacking of bars on the visual and this is what is the difference between a stacked bar chart and a normal clustered bar chart similarly the same effect we are going to see that if i just take out the quantity from the x axis and then like the previous chart if i bring in my customer gender and put this into the legend area then again you are going to see that the same effect is actually happening so now this north west portion this color is showing the total cost by the female gender and this this dark blue color is showing the total cost by the male gender so again the, the the effect that we have seen that in case of the stacked bar chart you will get this the the stacking and in the previous thing we saw that for everything that we did we got uh, another bar in this area so this is the difference between the stacked bar chart and a normal clustered bar chart rest of the options are going uh, are going to be the same so if i just go here and change the orientation from the stacked bar chart to a clustered bar chart so uh, sorry not a uh, not a clustered bar chart i uh, if i just change the orientation to a stacked bar chart in the vertical direction so it is a stacked column chart so you are going to see that it is just the swapping of the axes and nothing else so this is the difference that you need to keep between a stacked bar chart and the one that we previously saw where we just had the bars and here we have the stacked bars now let's see the third and final category which is the 100% stacked bar chart so i'm going to just click here on the 100% stacked bar chart so it is going to bring up the area for the 100% stacked bar chart so now i am going to populate this visual with the same values that i did for the earlier case so here 
I have now populated this with the same values of sales region in the y axis and the total cost in the x axis. But now I am seeing something different in the visualization. The appearance of the x axis is different, that instead of the values, I am seeing percentages. And now I can see that all my bars are of the same are of the same length so all all i can see is that i am i am just seeing the value so if i just hover on one of these the value that i am seeing is the value which is there but the the length of the bar is not giving any information instead we are just seeing 100 percent so now let's try and bring something different in this area that like the one we did uh, previously and then see what what is actually happening so now what I have done is that I have brought in the total quantity and put it in the x axis region. So now here you can see that there is a legend that has been created. But again, we are go we have just the split between uh, uh, between uh, the total cost and total quantity. But here it is actually not showing anything because in terms of the percentages that does not mean anything because this is a total quantity is a different measure and total cost is a total cost is a different measure and total quantity is a different measure but the point of put pulling some measure here is that the effect is the same that we saw for the stacked bar chart but now the values are not being shown it is the it is the percentages so which is a kind of a part to whole thing so this thing actually does not make any sense so I'm going to just take it out from the from the x axis and I'm going to go and bring in my gender column from the customers table and put it in the legend. So now if you go here, then you can see that the bar has been split into the female and male. But now if I hover my mouse here, now it is making sense. So this is a part to whole thing that is making sense that okay the size of the bar is constant so we have the same size of all the regions but now the proportion of color is giving that part to whole feeling so here it is almost negligible because the percentages are almost equal but if you come here you can see that for this region mexico central this is 55 percent contribution from the female and 44 5 percent contribution from the from the male and you can clearly see that the uh, the bar has been split accordingly as per the percentage so you can see that this 100 percent stacked bar chart has a different feel to it than a stacked bar chart because the bar sizes are equal and we have the partitions within the bar telling us about the information that we want to visualize so lastly if i just want to change the orientation of this 100 percent stacked bar chart to a 100 percent stacked column chart all i need to do is just come here and select the visualization and the only thing that you're going to see is again the same that the axes are swapped and the rest of the options in the formatting area are also going to be the same so i'm not going to go into the options so you can go and see what are the options how you can do the formatting just play around with the formatting it is very important to know what is the impact of each of these so just go and play around uh, with these options so that you have a clear understanding that what option relates to what so this was all about the bar and column chart so in the next part of this video we are going to cover the next family which is going to be the line chart and some of the other visualization so i'll catch you up with the with, with those in the next video